Welcome to this month's Sun River Anglers Fly Tying Corner. I'm going to tie a Royal Trude pattern today. This is a pattern that I use during the summer to imitate some of the large terrestrials that occur in Central Oregon. It's a great pattern for big beetles or hoppers or whatever. It's a fly that imitates nothing in nature, but imitates a lot of things. So let me begin with the materials list on this fly. For a hook, we're going to use a Tiemco 5212. You can go size 8 to 14. Um, it is a 2x long, 1x light uh, dry fly hook that's great for larger flies like this. For the thread, an ultra black 210 denier on this fly. As you go down in size, I would uh, target going a, a lighter denier, like 70 denier. For a tail, we're going to use golden pheasant tippets. The abdomen is peacock and red floss. The wing is white calf tail. And the hackle is a brown whiting dry fly cape. So let's get started with this pattern. I'm first going to take my TMCO 5212 size 8 hook. I purposefully picked a larger hook because it's uh, a little easier for you to see on the screen. Secondly, my 210 denier ultra thread. So I'm going to begin this fly by tying my thread on right at the two-thirds point of the hook. This is important in that it sets proportions for the entire rest of the fly. Next, I'm going to use a golden pheasant tippet feather. And I'll clip off a bunch of barbs off one feather. And I'm going to tie these in to create the tail on this fly. The tail should be about one and a half to two times the gape of the hook. Next, I'm going to cut off two barbs off a peacock feather. I'm cutting these off very near the eye of the feather to take advantage of the longest barbs on the uh, uh, on the feather, or the longest fibers on the feather. You'll note I took these off the left side of the feather. I'm a right-handed tire, and as I tie away, it will uh, allow me to use the very longest barbs on this peacock feather to tie in on the hook, which I want on a size 8 hook. I'm going to tie this in, shiny side back and dull side forward, and I've cut it off very near the stem of the feather, and this will allow me to create a nice taper as I build the initial group of peacock on this hook. Note where I've placed my thread. Taking that body length, I've set the thread right at about the one-third point. I'm going to build one-third peacock, one-third floss, and one-third peacock uh, as I build this body on the Royal Trude. So I'm winding forward all the way up to my thread, and then I'll uh, tie over it and clip off the excess. Next, I'm going to begin with my red floss, and I've cut two uh, strands about four or five inches long, and I'll fold those right over the, uh, the thread and draw that up to the hook and tie it off in place. Now, when you're handling floss, try not to get your fingers over the area you're going to tie in place because you'll dull that floss. Note as I'm tying, I'm holding it down near the base and uh, tying it onto the hook without touching it much. I'll tie that off and clip off the excess. Next I'm going to move to my second peacock barb. And you'll note that I'm going to clip off about half or three quarters of an inch at the bottom of the barb. This is to eliminate that taper. I want to start with the longest barbules that I can as I tie this on at the front section of the body and bring that forward over the front third of this uh, abdomen.
and I'll tie that off and clip the excess. This should leave me right at the two-thirds point of the hook, which is where I'm going to place the wing. Next, I'm going to take my calf tail or calf body hair and I'll clip off a group of hair that's about the circumference of a pencil. I'm going to clean that hair and then I'll try and align the tips as best I can and put it in a stacker and stack it as best I can. This material is somewhat kinky and it doesn't like to stack real well unless you clean it and align the tips. So I'll take the grouping of hair and I'll proportion it along the top of the hook shank and then I'll clip off the excess and tie this in right behind the head position and tie it all the way back to that first body segment. What I'm trying to do here is create a nice flat area to lay the hackle in. So I've got, I don't have a taper, I've just got a nice flat section. I might have a few odds and ends poking out where I don't want them so I can just clean this up and clip those uh, fibers out of the wing and eliminate them. Next I'm going to use my whiting cape and I'll choose two hackle fibers to tie in on this fly. I'll prepare them by clipping off the base and then stripping some of the barbs off the hackle with a few of the barbs on the underside. Um, I'm tying this in shiny side back and dull side forward dry fly style. So I'll clip a few on the underside because those don't tend to pay attention and land in the right spot when I begin tying them in. So I'll just eliminate that problem and clip them out. I'm going to glue this flat area so I'm tying the hackle into a bed of glue and wind those forward in consecutive wraps right at 90 degrees to the hook shank. One wrap in front of the next, in front of the next, in front of the next as we tie this all the way up to the head position. Then I'll bring them up in a V and grab just the stems and not any of the barbs and tie this off and clip off the excess. And if I've got a stray barb or two, I can clip those off and clean that head up just a little bit. And ultimately wind a nice clean head And then I'll drop into a whip finish and I'll whip finish the head with about three or four or five wraps of thread and tie that off. Lastly, I'm going to place just a little bit of glue on the head itself. If I got any glue in the eye of the hook, I can take the last little bit of that hackle fiber and use it to clean out the eye of the hook. The hackle fibers act as a sponge and just pull that glue out and clean up the eye of the hook very neatly. So let me spin this around in the vise so you can see the entire finished fly. So that's your Sun River Anglers fly tying corner for this month. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, please like us on Facebook and 
join our YouTube page.